So YouTuber Shira seven actually articulates something that a lot of you have been saying. And sometimes it takes maybe a woman to explain something to women sometime, even though the men have kind of tried to explain it themselves. Well, I want you to watch this short clip, you know, of her explaining what men really mean when they say they want women to be more natural. Men say they hate makeup and wigs, but they want natural. This is what they want. They want you to be able to grow your own hair to look like a wig. They want you, your skin and your eyes and your eyebrows to look like you don't need makeup. That's what they're saying. What they're trying to say in a nice way is if you are ugly when you wake up in the morning, that's not what I want. Because when I procreate with you, I want my children to reflect their mother and father. So that's what they're really trying to say. Now that's a good explanation, but let's, let me go ahead on and expound further on that. We live in a day and time where everything is so fake. You know, even with this creation of AI, how AI does, you know, can mimic people's voices. It can, you know, the deep fake stuff, make it look like you were saying something on a video. We live in a time of a lot of fake things. And, you know, one thing that Tupac said in the song, I'll never forget. He said, you know, fake nails, fake hair. Uh, and he said, then you got, you know, fake everything, right? He said, but you end up dealing with fake guys too. So men in this day and time are saying this. We men are saying they want you to be natural as what Shira seven was trying to explain to y'all. When you get up in the morning, when a man see you, you look the same. You are attractive to him. It don't matter about, oh, I, I haven't put on my makeup yet. No. Men want you to be attractive to them naturally. A man should even at a point can say, can tell you, look, you ain't to wear no makeup for what? I mean, shoot, you look, you look good the way you are. You don't have to wear that. Cause let me tell you something else that makeup ages you. It really do. That makeup mess up y'all skin. You don't even let your pores breathe. All that foundation you're putting on your face. At least wear minimal makeup. Now you say, oh, well, I got this issue in my face. If you got an issue with your face, go see your dermatologist, work with him or her to get your skin in optimal condition. Water is going to be your friend to help your skin. Water, your diet. You can't be eating all the greasy foods because all the greasy foods come to your face, right? So you got to stay away from the greasy foods, drink a lot of water that can help. Of course, exercise always helps too. you know, with our complexion, fasting helps with your complexion research. What I'm telling you about fasting and, um, slowing the aging process, um, how it gets rid of dead cells. A lot of things that, that go along with fasting that can help you even with your skin too, you know, taking your vitamins as you should, but the makeup right now, Minimal makeup. What if you're a type of person, your skin look great. So you just put some lotion on your face and you may put some lip gloss on. Okay. I mean, if you do the lash thing, I guess, cause some people got natural lashes. They don't have to do that, but you know, okay. The lashes, as long as they don't look like you're trying to fly away, you know, you're seeing some of them. Okay. If you go and get your, um, you know, the, the, I guess the, you know, the, the was it microblading, whatever it is, y'all get the tattoo thing over your eyebrows, you know, cause y'all, you know what I'm talking about. Y'all ladies know I, I, I'm a man. Okay. That's okay. Okay. That's fine. Men also is saying this, don't go out and tattoo your face. That's another thing men are saying to you. I see all these, these young ladies today tattooing their face. Like why men, when, when, when men look at you, they looking at your face. They don't want a bunch of scribble all over your face. Why are you messing your face up? Another thing, tattoos on the neck. Why are you putting tattoos on your, do you know that stuff labels you? And in the eyes of a man, it, it puts you in a, in a position of, of, of a, a, a hood chick. Look at the wives of, of millionaires and billionaires. 
Do any of them got neck tattoos? I'm talking about the ones that really got respect in society. Do any of them do? Do they got tattoos all on their face? No. Because you go to red carpet events, the holiday season, right? So some company Christmas event that's coming up and you're going to take your wife. You want to take your wife looking like that? So sometimes some of you trying to follow these trends. So I say social media has been the worst thing ever for, for women. It really has. It's because I see it and all men see it. One girl do something. Y'all want to do it. Y'all want to dress like her. Y'all want to wear the same clothes she wearing. You want to get the same surgery she got. You want to wear the same wig, the same hairstyle. She got a tattoo on her face. You do it. Krishan Rock puts blue face on her, on her neck. You go and put your little boyfriend on your neck. Like, Lord Jesus, can y'all have... So with men, are, I'm telling you, men are saying natural. And what she even mentioned about the children, that's even the next level. Men don't want their children looking like who did it and why. So just as much as you ladies don't want a guy that looks very unattractive to you, y'all don't same thing with a man, at least with men, you could see up front how he looks. He's not hiding his look, but what happens with, with, with some of these ladies, y'all put all that mess on your face. That's why I call it witchcraft. It's witchcraft because you are deceiving and altering your look. But yet you wipe all that witchcraft off your face and you look like something totally different. That's the real you. So that's why men are saying, uh, uh, all that makeup, you hiding something, you hiding something. You see all that foundation. They, they, all you can see the fellas, you can see the foundation. Like when you see a lot of foundation, you can't really see her skin at all. Like, uh, what's she hiding? What is she hiding? Like, should I take care of her skin or what, what, what's the deal? Then I'm going to give y'all something else. Some of the men are, are making videos online, but I'm going to tell you something. You can just go to your gynecologist and listen to what I'm and, 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 and confirm. Please stop eating shellfish. What you ingest in your body actually comes out through that particular part of your body. Just as much as you eat a bunch of fruit, the sweet smell of fruit actually will come out too. I notice, and I've seen that more within our community more than anything else, eating the crabs, the shellfish, is a reason why the scriptures taught that not to eat that. It's a, it's a reason. You should not be eating scavengers. Now, do you? I'm just trying to help as your uncle. I have no investment into anything else more than trying to help you, right? That's all I'm trying to do. I'm trying to help you. I'm helping you through love. That's it. I'm not condemning nobody. I just want to help you in every way, shape or form or fashion, but leave the crab legs alone. Men don't take them to eat no crab. You take me to eat some crab legs. No, uh, uh, I'll take you to get you some, uh, some good. I'll take you to get some good fish. I'll take you to that. What kind of fish you want? But that mess mm -mm. don't matter. Fact fellas, if you see a girl that's always want to eat crab legs, leave her alone. Cause I'm gonna tell you this much. Ladies at certain levels, they don't touch a crab leg. You can get them to be cracking a crab leg, greasy. No, uh, no, I know some of you are like crab legs. Okay, we'll get you a girl that, that eat crab legs and y'all be married. God bless the both of you. Yeah, just let me know what y'all think about, you know, this one because, like I said, it's all about just trying to help you as, as, as the, you know, the, the, the world's, you know, favorite internet uncle. That's it. I'm just trying to help y'all out because, you know, uh, be going into 2024, focus on being natural. That's it. Being natural will start to qualify you to get in the realm.